This is not about selling a bunch of stuff. This is about protection. Because, listeners, it's real. And that new information coming out of Fukushima today, how, oh, we got the decimal points wrong, and (laughs) you're really being poisoned. It's so sad to see these kinds of ploys happening. But those of us are protected, well, I feel really good. And I know that Perrier does also in that we are telling you the best that we can, the best that we know. These items are not all that expensive, but you do need a lot of clay. You don't just want to order one pound of clay because this is going to go on for another three to six months. And if you can get people to go together with you, it's going to be the best, in my estimation. And I just want to tell you, Perrier, that um, uh, we just got an email from Costa Rica saying, Love the show. Thanks to this wonderful lady and her miracle clay. I healed a very nasty dog bite infection. It took several weeks, but it is healed with just a slight scar. Bless you, Perrier, in the Power Hour. Michael in Costa Rica. He said he took some pics of the healing, which he will send to us. So, you know, you've got wow. fans all over the world, Perrier. <laughs> no, the clay does. Clay has <laughs> fans. She gathers her own. You know, I can't explain to people how valuable a clay bath is. It's kind of like telling someone who's never eaten an apple what an apple tastes like. Oh, uh-huh. It's just something you have to experience, and you will be so wowed after your first one, you want to continue to have the clay baths. They are just magical for uh, stimulating the whole body circulation, opening up the flow of energy from in the body, and that's when we get muscle aches tied up places, when we have a constriction of muscles with pain. And the clay baths, not only are they detoxing you through the pores of your skin, pulling out heavy metals, uranium, or things of that nature, it's going to uh, relax those muscles and allow the flow of oxygen and blood, which is what we need. That's why we sleep on these magnetic mattresses to balance our body. And the clay has an electromagnetic energy built into it, like it has the 9.7 pH. And I think the clay baths, well, they're good radiation or no radiation. They're good for you. I just, they will relax you. Your skin feels baby soft afterwards. You don't need to rinse off. You just dry yourself off after one, and your skin feels marvelous. It has just had a 15 to 20 minute revitalization. I'd like for you to talk quickly about the, or not quickly because I think it's so important, but about the spas that use your clay. And it doesn't have anything to do with radiation protection. It has everything to do with uh, uh, stimulating the body, but how your clay is used as some of the high-end spas in the nation. Yes, we're very proud of our spa group, and we haven't marketed a great deal to the spa industry, but they are hearing about it. Their customers are bringing it in, they're trying it, and they're calling us and demanding that clay in their shop. They're using that because it draws so much stronger. It tightens up. I have ladies who have used it like a facial every other day for three weeks, and their their friends are asking them if they've had Botox injections. Hmm. It will nope. literally tighten the skins. It fluffs out. The, it pulls those wrinkles out. It just is amazing on what it can do on the skin. Uh, and it, it, your skin feels so soft afterwards. You put it on. You let it dry. It's like concrete. It's really tight. Mm-hmm. You wash it off, and your skin just feels baby soft. It cleanses and- the pores. It stimulates blood flow and oxygen. That's what we need for surface healing, cellular healing. And, again, all this information is in this brochure that we will send you at the Power Hour, if you purchase from the Power Hour, because we don't want to pay for the mailing of this. But it's the protocol for clay baths, protocol for doing a topical clay uh, mask, clay poultices, how to store and handle your clay. It's all in here. Now, I've always said uh, that doing a total clay application of putting it all over your entire body You know, as much as you you can put it anywhere. You can just absolutely put it anywhere on your body. Um, And I've always said, you know, do this. You know, if you're going to get naked and do this, then, you know, make sure your husband's three counties away before you do it. (laughs) But, I mean, and also don't take a phone call because I took a phone call one time. I was on the phone for over 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and I was, like, so stiff I could hardly walk. The clay (laughs) had really gotten tight. I mean, it really does its job. Yes, if it ever dries and then you take the phone call, it's very hard to talk. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Also, <laughs> you start to feel your face tighten, and it really, it really works. What is it doing when you put, let's say you did an overall uh, body, uh, you know, let's say you did something with your children and you wanted them to experience that. What does that do? What is it happening to your body? It's cleansing the pores of your skin. We have oils and bacteria that back up in the pores of our skin, particularly our face. That's the result of acne and these little breakouts that we have. It's going to pull those impurities out from the skin. And it's going to tighten and firm the cells. If you just put some of the cleansing clay mask on the back of one hand and then let it dry and wash it off and then make a fist and compare it to the other hand, you can see the skin cells are tighter, pulled together, uh, it's firmer, and it's a little bit lighter. It's a light exfoliant. It kind of lightens age spots. A lot of people who drink it and use it regularly say they just don't get new age spots. Interesting. So, uh, and a full body is wonderful. You know, they're doing these sea wraps and herbal wraps and things. Clay will draw out uh, excess moisture. Um, Now, it depends on how much moisture and fluid you have in your skin. What it's doing is pulling blood flow and oxygen to the surface of the skin. And we have dormant cells on the surface of our skin. They're just kind of inactive, so to speak. This revitalizes them. This is how clay helps heal wounds so quickly, is it's bringing the oxygen and the blood flow and the nutrition to heal the wound, and it's taking the infections and the baddies out of the wound. So it's twofold. That that electromagnetic energy is a component of clay that you just don't buy off the shelf in the grocery store. Or a pharmacy. Um, and we've had some uh, people at the Power Hour that have had lumps that have gone away totally. Um, now, we're not trying to play medicine here or play doctor here, but there are things that you can do many times to see if it's effective. And it's been amazing on wounds, on bites, uh, especially yellow jacket bites, those kinds of things. Any kind of wound, just put it on there and allow it to take effect. I got this email from someone who said... Um, About five months ago, I got a spider bite at work uh, around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. By the time I left work at 6 o'clock, it looked like a brown recluse spider bite that I had several years ago. Everyone at work thought it was terrible. It was red, swelling, itching, painful, and starting to get some streaking. And that's just after four hours. As soon as I arrived home, I made a poultice with bentonite clay and silver, changed it daily for two days, and on the third day, it simply had a little scab forming over the bite itself and nothing else. The redness, swelling, itching, and pain were gone, and it made a believer out of me, and that's Elaine in Oklahoma. Thank you, Elaine, for sending that. It's just about any wound you can use clay in, can't you? Oh, absolutely. A raw, open wound, put clay on it. It's going to be cool and soothing, but again, it's going to stimulate the oxygen and blood flow that's needed for cellular repair. And it's going to take any toxins or dirt or contamination that's gotten in the wound out. So I can't think of a better Band-Aid or healing element than clay. Uh Uh-huh. I can't either. I really cannot imagine anything, a first aid, first aid item. Everybody needs to have it around. Everybody needs to have it. Burns, we had a lady scalded herself with, dropped a pot of hot coffee down her leg. And she put clay on it, and then she went to cleaning up, and it was on the weekend. She went in on Monday to the doctor because it was such a bad burn, and she wanted to make sure she didn't get an infection. And they asked her, uh, they put her in the hospital, and they did skin grafting. It was such a bad burn, and they said, what's your level of pain? And she said, I have none. And he said, no, between 1 and 10, with 10 being high, what's your level of pain? She said, I have no pain. He said, lady, do you know what pain is? And she said, I've had five children. I know what pain is. But the clay is a natural analgesic, and it takes the pain away from a scalding burn. And you know, it burns those nerve endings. And the worst thing from a burn is the shock when a person is burned over that much flesh. Now, they had to go ahead and do a skin graft. It was that severe. But she kept it clean. There was no infection in it using the clay. And it kept the pain away. So put it on anything that hurts. If you mash your finger in the door, glob it on there. 
It's going to keep it from swelling. It pulls down the inflammation. I've healed broken bones in three weeks, putting clay on where they didn't have the cast, and we could put clay on and put the splint on over it, you know, wrap it in saran wrap and put a splint on over that, and they were released in three weeks. It sounds like the universal remedy, and guess what? It is. You know, I want to go back uh, on the clay baths. We didn't mention how much to use. It's in this brochure that you're going to get, uh, but it has. Um, it says using, uh, uh, what, two cups for detox? Yes, uh, if two you times. have something like radiation or you know you have toxic heavy metal poisoning, mercury or lead, you want a two-cup bath. <clears throat> and I would do them for uh, two a week for five weeks is what they recommend for children with autism to get the mercury from the shots out of them. And mm. it calms these children down. One clay bath, they're making eye contact, they're more verbal, and they're they're calmer. And it's amazing what one clay bath can do. Now, I had a lady the other day with a severe migraine headache, and I never would have said, go take a clay bath. But she did, and she only had a fourth of a cup of clay left, I mean half a cup, and she used all of it in her bath. She got in and soaked, and she said in 10 minutes, 10 minutes, her headache was gone. She said, how did it do that? Yes. Well, again, it's opening, it's relaxing the body, it's opening up that flow of energy, the blood flow and the oxygen. And when we have a pain, we naturally tighten up and resist it. So we shut down the blood flow when we tighten the muscles around it, and it just amplifies the pain. I want to open up the phone lines. If you have a question for Perrier or even a testimony, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. She's so gracious to share all her information. And believe me, the book, Living Clay, is really, if you're going to get involved in using clay, you want to have the entire book because that's where you're going to find all the information that you need to know on clay. I mean, if it's, if it's relative to clay, it will be in the book Living Clay, and that is